Does does indeed, yeah. A sense of achievement? A sense of relief. What's next? Something different. <laughs> yeah, change for a bit. Mm. From each other? Or... From the show, for a bit. Anything in the pipeline? Um, I don't always know. Really? Well, you know, film, TV, that takes a while to set up, and theatre projects, they come and go. And I forget mm. that Georgia just hawks you around broadcasters in a wheelbarrow. Hawking your wares for a cheese and onion sandwich. Why is it good? Well, you can feel stuck, can't you, after a while. Um, two series of good omens, three series of staged. You know, I, I, I think it's important to mix things up. I feel like it. What's that uh, I'm playing an Iron Bevan for the BBC. Hmm. What? Well, that's not exactly mixing things up, is it? I have never played him before. Have you done impressions? Don't before. call them impressions. How many times have you seen the turtle Tony Blair stick? Yeah. How many times have you thrown on a brown coat and glued your hair into an exponential curve and battled a salt shaker? I mean, fucking galaxies have died since that free for all began. And Bevan's Welsh. Is he gonna is he gonna seek out football teams to shout at? Is that your <laughs> new is that your new Oh boys back? Oh come and kick a football around, give us a will sugar. Uh, Bit of that, is he gonna do that? Can we expect to see you in a new crime series for the BBC anytime soon? No. No, no really? I mean, there might be a body in a small town early next year, it's possible. Right. Yeah, you're going to be looking out over cliffs. I might, Brit. Yeah, furrow in the, the old brow. I will use all the tools in my extensive tools. I wonder there's not a mass exodus as soon as you walk in. Oh, this is a lovely town. I'm glad we moved here. Oh, isn't that the scrawny fucker whose arrival heralds the coming of death? Hey-ho, on we go. So what Yeah, I suppose so. Do you ever worry that you'll get bored? Recently. I didn't used to. Do you ever worry that people might get bored of you? Hmm. I don't know how much mouth rinse Simon had necked at the dentist, but um, the new script for episode three was was not boring. It was was big and bold and different. And I think that's why David and Michael got excited again. I know I had not been keen, but it was nice to see Michael energized. And we still had the documentary as a backup. So we just thought, let's go. One last roll of the lunacy dice. So the script saw David and Michael meeting past versions of themselves um, from season one, uh, sort of a warning of what was to come. David talked to David, Michael talked to Michael, all on Zoom. And David taught himself how to make a sourdough starter. Then Michael and David argued with Michael and David. And then Michael and Michael argued with David and David, and then Michael's betrayed the Davids. It was very high concept. A Christmas yet to come kind of thing. Sort of Bill and Ted, really, or uh, Back to the Future Part 2. One last gasp. <laughs> we, we all really wanted it to work. Yeah, everyone wanted it to work. Were you sad when it all shut down? Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't, it wasn't really what Josh wanted and there was no money, so. Michael checked out, David did too. They didn't want to do it anymore. So we made the decision to deliver the documentary. Georgia got what she wanted. It wasn't really what anyone wanted. Not like that. You know, the show was um, like a, a spirited, scrappy little thing when we started and now it's just well episode one is tonight yeah i just hope we get away with it oh you know they are bad they're not bad they're not good i'll no, stop reading them then what was fresh and invigorating is now old and desperate. Yeah, well, they've only seen episode one. The documentary stuff is fresh. This is not what I wanted. Well, the writing takes the brunt, so... Evans and co-creator Finn Glenn should be given concrete shoes and thrown in the nearest river. Yeah. Hi. You've seen them? <clears throat> they are bad. They are not bad. They are not good. I'm listening to Talk Back. Oh, yeah? What's Talk Back? It's like a phone-in radio show. I was listening earlier. Are they discussing us? Yeah, savagely. The, this caller likes us. Oh. No, she doesn't. Oh. What does she say? 
in the rankings of comedy double acts, David and Michael aren't. Well, people are still calling in. What about the Radio Times? Oh, yes, yes, they like they this. They had us on Where the front it? cover. Yeah, what do they say? We have too much respect for David and Michael to publish a review. What can we do? Well, we can't do anything. Can we explain? Explain what? You know, that it was a train wreck from start to finish, that we're lucky to have escaped with our sanity, let alone six episodes of television, and there should be prizes for effort. The reviews are out, babe. We could film new episodes. When? This week. You're insane. We did it in a week before. We were much younger men then. It was two years ago. Anyway, Lily's over from New York. So? So I want to forget bad reviews and move on from this sorry chapter and spend Christmas with my family. Yeah, listen, everything is going to be fine, OK? Episode two airs tonight, Michael storms off, we segue into the documentary and it carries on during the week as planned. What's episode three? Um, how we agreed to do series three. With Michael hiding in the car. Yeah. You and me in the shower, mm -hmm. that one. Mm -hmm. Episode four is you two trying to write together. Oh, God. And episode five? This. Where we are now. Are we filming this? We're filming everything. Simon could still write as a finale. We already have one. Part retrospective, part looking to the future. Well, that sounds terrible. I am trying my best. Have you heard from Simon? No. Are we worried that they might be at the bottom of the river? I mean, let's not worry about that right now. OK, we're well, working on the basis that he is still alive and not mafia casualty. We still don't have time to write anything, will he? What about a live episode? <laughs> oh, don't be so stupid. You're our next caller. You'll be on air with Ben Wicks in a second. What's that? Thanks for waiting. I'm on hold. With who? Talk back. Why? Someone's got to fight our corner. You can't just call <laughs> into a radio station. Just watch me. I'm going to tell them that we deserve a prize for effort. As yourself? No, as myself. Obviously, I will disguise my voice. Well, what name did you give? Didn't ask for a name. Hello, you're on with Ben Wicks. What's your name? David. Oh. Hi, David. But my friends call me Stephen. Good to meet you, Stephen. With a V. A V, like in David. Yeah, similar. And what do you want to say about stage? I really enjoyed that first episode. Oh, finally! You are in a minority of one. What did you enjoy about it? What did I enjoy about it? Um, I think that they were trying something new. They don't give prizes for effort. Well, they should. It doesn't work that way. It was a tough production. Their writer left halfway through. How do you know that? Did you work on the show? No. So how do you know about the writer leaving? Um, well... What's happened is, I have a wife on the crew. A wife? Does this wife have the inside gossip? Yeah, she knows a thing or two. And what did she like about the first episode? Oh, she's a big fan of that David Tennant. Really? Yeah, yeah. She thinks he's really sexy. And can we speak to her? No, she's busy right now. But she likes the first episode? Very much. Very much indeed. She said to me, David! Stephen! Stephen, she said to me. Who was that? My son. What's his name? Mervyn. Did you enjoy the first episode, Mervyn? I liked it a lot. He loved it, he did. You don't think it's just the same old shtick? People love the old shtick. People love the old shtick, boy. But critics are calling it boring. Tired Stephen, they're calling it predictable. What do you say to them? Well, they don't know what's coming. What's coming? Oh, something really surprising. I'm all ears. I shouldn't be telling you this. As long as it's not another lazy layer of meta rubbish, like a shift into documentary or something. No. Well, what's coming? What should we be looking out for? 
Um, Stephen. What is coming up? Seriously. It's really surprising. Excite me. Is. What's going to save this dead horse before it's flogged? Please tell me it gets better. They are doing a live episode. Hope you enjoy it. Bye, everyone. We're doing a live episode. <laughs> okay. Is that what you're going to say? I'm waiting for a punchline. Oh, it's not a joke. I'm not writing you a live episode. Okay, David said something stupid. Yes, I heard on the radio. Yeah. Yeah, where was he supposed to be from? Mm, I don't know. When Michael was Mervyn, yes? Okay, we are doing it on Saturday. Mm -mm. No, we can't. It's important to David. That is not a basis for decision making. At and all. Josh is excited about the idea. I cannot imagine for a second that Michael is excited about the idea. Well, he will do it for David. Well, I won't do okay, it for listen, David. Listen, listen, you started this, you little tenacious till the going gets tough watered down idealist. You came to me, and you know what? It might not have ended up like the great statement that you wanted, and it might not parcel up all your like hopes and dreams, but you are going to help us finish it. What do we need? Okay. Right, what was it originally? What, the original final episode? You had a story, uh, didn't you? Like a, David and Michael doing a Christmas carol? Yes, but it was all going to sort of fall apart due to outside pressures. OK, what sort of outside pressures? Michael was going to be beset by angry carol singers and David was going to be arrested in Pyongyang. What for? Treason. Right. Well, can't it still be that? No. No. It, it, it's missing all the, all the, all the setup. Oh! Could we just do a Christmas carol? Well, without all the, the outside pressures. Yeah, like, OK, David Tennant and Michael Sheen present a live version of A Christmas Carol adapted by Simon Evans in the style of staged with filmed on laptops, audio on phones. On Saturday? On Saturday. Have you read A Christmas Carol? I have seen the Muppet version. Dickens was paid by the word. Kermit the Frog has a doctorate. Then get Kermit the Frog to fucking write it. OK, you wanted to do something different for episode three. And look how that all worked out. OK, so do something different here. People don't want different, do they? If we do a Christmas carol, I tell you what people will want. They'll want Marley and Cratchit arguing about whose name comes first on the sign outside. They'll want Bob Cratchit drawing fucking pineapples. They'll want us to find an Oscar winner to play Tiny Tim. So give them that. No, because they don't really want that, do they? Because I will get it in the neck for being predictable. Unless, of course, it's a storming success, in which case, who gets all the credit? David and Michael. You know, there was a review this morning for episode two. It called it Sheen and Tenants improvised farce. Oh, that sounds positive. Ah, that episode stretched the bounds of all etiquette around plot contrivance and exposition beyond all the boundaries of literary decency, and they still think David and Michael made it up on the fucking spot. OK, they've never actually said that, though, have they? Have they? No. No, no, because they have always stood up for you. They have always told everyone how you write it and praised what you do. In public. Well, in public, yeah. Behind the scenes, they are less generous. Well, behind the scenes, you're as useful as a yeast infection, babe. But listen, they believe in you, they stand up for you, and they have never taken away from how hard you work and what you do. No. Not once. Hmm. We need a cast. Is he going to do it? Have you ever said anything mean about him on camera? Don't think so. OK, well, can you not for the day? I'll try my absolute hardest. This this is super hard, by the way. Tar. Yeah, we need a cast. We need somewhere to do it. Yeah. Well, we should all do it together, just in case something goes wrong. Georgia, when has anything ever gone wrong? Oh, we could do it here. Michael's got Lily in Wales this weekend. Could she be in it? She could be in it. OK. She needs to rehearse? Not for reading it. OK, great. Well, find some friends. I don't have any friends. Where are 
are you? Uh, we're getting there, you know. Not far now. You're supposed to be here. Well, Anna's a very cautious driver. You bringing the kids with you? No, we left them at my mum and dad's. You feeling comfortable there? In absolutely no way whatsoever. How's everything looking at your end? I just stepped outside. What's the collective noun for garden gnomes? A violation. It's pretty mental inside. Uh, how's Simon getting along? He's supposed to be here too. Have you had anything in from him yet? Not a squit. Oh, it'll be fine. I just wanted to feel different. Well, we can do it in silly hats. Yeah. I just want us to help. To set up. Well, isn't it just laptops and phones? No, 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 not anymore. There's lights being hung. Oh. Surface is being painted. Well, historically, the best way we can help is by staying out the way. I feel responsible. Yeah, well, that's understandable. We did get everyone into this. No, you got everyone into this. I'm just caught in your rat's nest. Yeah. I just want to feel different. What has Georgia said that we can do? She's asked me to put up some signs. I could put up some signs, then. Yeah, well, we're strong, handsome men. I want to be lifting things up and putting them down again. I feel like that would be a waste of energy. I mean, moving things. I don't think people would appreciate that. Well, we can do what we're told. Historically, we can't. We're here! Where the hell have you been? Yeah, don't ask. Uh, we're outside by the side gate. Well, you're simply a who's who of acting talent. You arrived two hours late. Did you tell them your joke? <laughs> oh, welcome! <laughs> oh, hello. Hello. And you brought a camera crew. Yeah, watch out. Let him through. Don't ask questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, see, I'm getting used to it now. Is Lily not with you? Uh, she's coming down later. What's in the bag? Costume options. We don't need anything. Christmas jumpers, funny hats. Okay. Yeah. All right. Is the bunting for me? George's birthday, isn't it? Party later. Oh, you didn't bring a card. I brought a card. I'm oh, glad you came. Me too. I wasn't sure if you were going to. Well, Anna told me to. Oh, yeah. I thought you didn't want to make it anymore. I want him to finish it properly. It's very dramatic. Yeah, well, she's a romantic at home. Only when it costs me nothing. Georgia! Yeah, fair, fair. Well, well, look at that. Very good. Yeah, so we're filming in here. So why are we making it look like my kitchen? Georgia wanted to keep the aesthetic of the show. Ah, right. Do you think we'll get away with it? Okay. What's the collective noun for electronics into an extension lead? A gamble? Hmm. We just thought we should um, make sure that everyone's here on site in case anything goes wrong. Right. You know? Ooh. Look at that. Georgia! Oh, Michael! Yeah. You are late and Anna said it's your fault. Simon's pulling up. Okay. Right. No, no, sorry, there's no shoes upstairs. So, Lily can go in here. Oh, your lovely. Eyes. Great. Yeah, he's here. He's here. Yes. Oh, right. Ian? It's my... Hello. Oh, uh, yeah. Great. Great. Okay. Scribbly zoo. Okay. Bye. I don't trust people who are comfortable naked in other people's homes. Right. Is everyone in position? Ooh, is Michael's forehead a bit shiny? Okay. What? I'll do a little bit. Live in 60 seconds. Ooh, I'm excited. Me too. <laughs> do we have a script yet? Yeah, yeah, Simon's printing it now. Right. Okay, there we go. Right, listen. Put yep. the open wires under your feet, so don't move them, okay? Oh, right, okay. Right. Standing right over yes and phone. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. Good, yeah. Mm, right, good, yep. I love you, baby. Love you too. 45 seconds. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> We feel like that uh, that dog that chases the bird off the cliff and there's just all air underneath, but, you know, as long as we keep our eyes straight ahead, we yeah. won't fall. But it's a coyote. Uh, no, a dog doesn't chase a coyote. Yeah, it's, no, it's a coyote that chases the bird, the roadrunner. No, it's a cartoon, David. Of a coyote. Well, how do you know it's a coyote? Because his name is Wiley Coyote. Well, the name doesn't define the person. 30 seconds. Still need a script, please, thank you. Yes, has anyone got eyes on Simon? Ah, yeah. come on, dear. Right, there we go. Thank you. Oh, me too. Oh, nice. 
Thank you. <laughs> Can I just say a big thank you, actually, because I know that um, things have, it just, it means a, a huge amount to me. And I know that you both always have my back yeah. and I just yeah. want to say, I hope you have a really okay. great team. Pleasure, I'm yeah. sure we will, I'm sure we will. Pack off, pack off, pack off, pack off. Time for a cookie jar? Maybe later. Yeah, have a very good show. Have a good show. Live in 10 seconds. Is yours blank? It's completely blank. Is yours also blank? Yeah. Five seconds. Something on the very last page. Oh. Three, two. Improvise your way out of this. And we're live. 